This is my 2013 Chevy Volt. Yes, I know, I drive a Chevy Volt as a daily driver. A lot of my car enthusiast friends think that that's really, really weird, but after I explain to them why I drive this car and how much money it saves me in fuel, they sort of get to understand, but are still a little bit questionable. In this video, I wanted to show you guys something that I haven't really seen covered much online. Now we all know the Chevy Volt has about a 40 mile range, and when that's up, it has a backup generator that kicks on charges the battery so you can continue on your day and drive it just like a normal hybrid. You technically really don't ever have to charge this car. You could drive it like, let's say, a Prius. My question was, did GM program into this car a backup so when you ran out of electric and the gas kicked in, but then you ran out of gasoline, would it somehow dig deeper into the battery? So the only way to figure this out was, of course, to try it out myself. So a little while back, I purposely ran out of electric and gasoline and I filmed it for you. Down to no bars of fuel, no bars of electric. We're getting there. What is gonna happen when the Chevy Volt runs out of everything? And I keep on watching my MPGs go down. For all you Volt owners out there, you must be cringing at the fact that I'm destroying my lifetime MPG. Okay, so it is now reading propulsion power is reduced and engine not available. Add fuel. Hold on, this is all the way down to the floor. Yeah, it's, it's, I'd say it's probably like 50% power or something like that. So I guess what it did, it's just all electric. Let's, uh, hold on, let's see. Okay, yeah, so we are 100% back to electric. So it's run out of electric, went, switched over to gas, ran out of gas, and now we're back to electric. So apparently it's digging deeper into the battery reserve and um, letting you go a little bit further, which is really cool. This is still at 10.3 kilowatts used, so I don't know if it's even gonna register on there that we're, uh, that we're using more. So three messages, propulsion power is reduced, engine not available, and low fuel. We've almost gone a mile now. Okay, let's see what the actual power output is. This is, this is all the way to the floor. Uh, I guess it's really not that bad, but it ramps up a lot slower. Yeah, it looks like 75 is all is all we get. I gotta say, it is really hard to mess this up. I mean, to to actually die out because you've run out of gas in a Volt is very difficult. I mean, they give you like a ton of buffer space. It took about 40 miles on the low fuel light to actually run out. All right, I'm matted all the way down again. Let's see, yeah, it's gonna be about 75-ish, something like that. You know what, I've also realized that it turned the heat off. Yeah, I have no climate control. Still going. Got uh, about two miles on battery reserve so far. see what we got yeah, it's still got oh no no it's definitely going lower <laughs> I feel like this is that uh, episode of Seinfeld <laughs> well, this is all the way down yeah we all, we're only getting like 20 I, I think it's it's gotta be like basically gonna die right now oh wow we are seriously this is all I have I think it's gonna die. Okay, so my GoPro died. And uh, yeah, my car is dead. This is it. I am going all the way down, we have no battery. So we went 2.4 miles on reserve battery. So that's what you get. 
it's very difficult to run it out, but it will eventually just completely stop. Now let's see if I shut it off. Let's see what happens if I turn it back on. Put it in drive, and nope, it's not going anywhere. Okay, I just got done putting a gallon of gas in, so let's start her back up. And the engine fired right up. Put it in the drive, and we're off. That's it. It actually worked. <laughs> and look at it, I got a little bar. So it looks like once you go on low, you have basically a gallon left. And there you have it. The Chevy Volt keeps on going even after it runs out of gasoline, just for a couple more miles. The reason it does this is because when you see that you're out of battery, you actually still have like a 10 or 20% buffer zone at the bottom. And also the Chevy Volt never fully charges. They leave a buffer at the top also. Now what GM was thinking when they did this was the battery life. This prolongs the battery life and it's proven itself very well as the Chevy Volt hasn't had many issues with battery degradation or bad batteries in general. I also wanted to mention that I'm a huge advocate of having your cake and eating it too. I think you could have a 900 horsepower Trans Am like mine that gets like six miles per gallon that you drive on the weekends and to the track. And you could also have a green car like the Chevy Volt that gets like 200 miles per gallon. You drive to work, grocery store, stuff like that. So who else out there has a race car and also a really green car like this? List it in the comments section below. What did your friends tell you when you got the green car? Because mine were a little skeptical, but then when I showed them the car, they're like, man, that's actually pretty nice and pretty cool. List that stuff in the comment section. I'd love to see it. As always, have a great day, and I will see you next video. Thanks a lot.